So this one, I just want to show you guys, but this one is a 120. I usually go with the 60, 80, and I, I make my way up with the with the finest ones, which is the 120, this is the 120. After 120, I use a scotch price, it's like little rolls. I think you guys seen it, the red ones, uh, multicolor ones. But I'll, when I, when I keep uh, going forward in the video, I will be showing you on the other steps. So first we open it to go side by side. And then we sand it, but I just want to make sure, I want to show you guys how it's going to look once we sand it. As you guys can see, it's giving a little bit, like a minute. So a minute, and it's already, this part right here is smooth already. So to make my way down, and I still have to get rid of that bump. So, let's get rid of the bump already. Okay, now check it out. So this one, the step in here is gone already. You can see, see the huge hump in there. Step, see it's all the way down. And the bump, the bump is gone. See the bump right here, and the bump is here. Now let me show you the, the hole I've, I've been talking about. There, once you get rid of the bump, you're gonna leave a hole. It's the hole right there. So, there you go. You can see it right there. It's gonna be right there. Let me see if you can put the finger through. Where is it? I'm lost. I can see it from here. On the other side. Yeah, well, I can't reach it, but um, yeah, this hole right here is the one we made when we got rid of the bump. So it's the one that holds the the rocket arm. So that's all. So when you when you put the rocket arm, all you're gonna need is seal the bolt, and you're good to go. That's after we get rid of that. So now. So this side is done, the roof is done, this side is it's done, I just have to uh, pass another one, a little bit less rough, and then we're going to do the floor, it's, we're going to take all the little imperfections from there, we're going to make it a little smooth, and we're good to go, so we can move to the next intake, and the next and the next one, and when they're all done, that's when we pass the sanding rolls, sanding roll, Sanding inside of the bowl, sanding there, sanding there. So let me get the intake done, and then we're gonna move to the exhaust. Okay, so the intake side is done. The floor, the roof, roof, the sides. So intake side is done. So what's next here? I'm gonna use this bad boy. This one, cause I don't have the extension. So I use this one, and I stick the uh, sanding roll. Where did it go? Uh, I lost that sample. Yeah. yeah it's going to be another video. I just want to show you because intake side is done. From here and here. So I'll show you how it looks. See the holes on the 
the rocker arm holder that's why when you seal it it's not too bad I want to show you this is the other one right here and this one right here right there so Bob got his flush it's flush so everything is good now what's next it's gonna use sand and roll it's gonna be uh, you can start with the 60 80 uh, and then I close it with the 120 and then the last one is gonna be the buffing pads you guys will see the scotch bright for the Dremel so that's gonna be for next video intake is done we're gonna sand and get this one smooth and then polish and the next one the exhaust on the exhaust we're gonna get rid of this belly here see this one here on the older roughness we're gonna make it smooth and then also we're gonna flush the valve with the the guide with the, with the aluminum there down right there see all this right here see the can focus right there so this one right here is gonna get removed right there so all this here is gonna get removed it's gonna be flush into the valve guide it's like the intakes right here same one as the intake so those are what we're gonna be doing we get all the roughness we're gonna get smooth the belly in here it's gonna get also removed which is this one here we're gonna blend in the the valve seat with the aluminum which is the head there you go it's better so we, we're gonna blend in and then we're just gonna um, on this one i have a measurement so all i do is just blend in the guide the this valve seat with the head get rid of this bump and then smooth everything out and flush the aluminum head into the guide that's for the exhaust on the exhaust side I already told you never do the floor if not you're gonna make a hole on the water jacket and you can match the gasket a million on top and a little bit on the bottom but I don't recommend that unless you know you're 100% sure which headers you're gonna use so that's about it so this one's gonna open it up again smooth it's not gonna be that high it's gonna be like maybe around here that's all we don't want to go too crazy on this one that's about it keep tuned for the next videos bam